Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. In this video, I want to show you how to make a sub customer of an existing customer. This is going to be applicable if you're in a situation where maybe you bill one company for something, but you really work on that company's different clients. So maybe you're a plumber, for example, and you go out to different job sites, but you bill everything back to the general contractor. Maybe you're an attorney and you have one customer and then underneath it, you have different matters. I just want to show you how to make sub customers. So let's go ahead and make a customer. So we'll go to customers. Over here on the right, we can make a customer. So we'll say main customer name, right? Doesn't matter what we call it. I'm going to say save. And then in the upper, oh, let me go back to customers. In the upper right hand corner, I'm going to make another customer by again going to new customer. So sub of main customer. Down here, all I need to do is select is sub customer. The parent customer, I'll select. And then I can say, when I bill this, do I want to bill any of the invoices back to the parent customer or do I want to bill it individually to the sub customers? In the example of a plumber, maybe you're working for a general contractor, your sub customer could be the different addresses or the different locations or the different properties, but you're billing it all back to the general contractor. That'd be a situation where you'd bill back to the main customer. I'll go ahead and select save. When I go back to my customer list, you can see the indents. You can see the main customer and you can see the sub customers. So that's it. I just wanted to show you how to make a customer, how to make sub customers and how to identify where to build them. If you have any questions, comments or suggestions for videos, please don't hesitate to let me know. If you'd like one on one help, I'm available. You can find me at gentlefrog.com. If you'd like to have us handle your bookkeeping for you, Megan and I are available again at gentlefrog.com. Thanks.